Right, this is a very, very serious thing. And it's kind of escalating by minute after minute. Because it's just getting, getting and getting worse. The homeless emergency, I'm not even going to call it a crisis. It's an emergency now, literally. It's nearly it's beyond a, a crisis. It's an emergency. It's like a war. It's like a war against homelessness. This is literally what I'm going to call it. It's like a war now against homelessness. Because it's just absolutely heartbreaking. And I am absolutely gobsmacked that people years ago had houses. The government, there was no people, not, there was not many people homeless. There wasn't at least 10,000 homeless. There was houses for them. I don't, I don't get it. I really just don't get it. And this government, bullshit, like there's so many houses abandoned and they could just do up in a month instead of building houses. Like, there's about five or six houses I know in my area alone that can house about five or about nearly, let's say about 15 people nearly in the, in the seven houses I know. Like 15 people off the street, think about it, a tiny bit of, get them paid about 10 euros a week, get them a bit of a job and all that, like, think about it, that is perfect, like, you know, like, the councils have to kind of get involved a lot, but this is just getting worse, like, the Simon community is doing the, all they can, I understand, I see the Simon community do their work, I, last time I was up in Dublin, I seen them go around helping homeless people, they bring them cups of tea, cups of coffee and all that, they were doing their very best, they were asking whether they were okay, did the media ending or anything like that. And they, I have to say they were a great honour to this country. And I know they're doing all the best. Like Cork, Simon McKinney has said so dealing with 24 men and 12 women staying in Cork, Simon, the Simon Community Emergency Shelter. And just to say, this is not funded by the government. This is just these people, these mucks or these volunteers going out and helping people. The government don't pay them. To be honest, they should be getting paid because they're getting doing they're doing more work than the government ministers are doing up in the Dáil Uh There was a protest today outside uh, the Department of the Taoiseach. I, I'm very aware of that. I'm very aware to anybody who's going to shout at me for it. I'm very, very aware of it. I knew about it. I knew a week before it happened, to be honest. Because I was told a lot to go if I did. I was told by the people who were organised if I could attend, but I couldn't attend, to be honest. Like, I'm not fit to really walk out the door and I attend the place, go up to Dublin, you know. Like, up to 10,000 attend a rally today outside Dublin, right? Like, it's just ridiculous. It says it could go up to 12,000 by the end of Christmas. Like, that's another 2,000. Like, good God, two, another 2,000 on the street. There's, let's put it this way. I'm going to try and put it this way. There's... 10,000 soldiers in the army. Well, there's barely 10,000 soldiers. There's so many discharging themselves from the army now. There's probably only going to be about 2,000 left at the end of the month. Because it's, that, it's getting bad, the army, again. Like, the whole country's collapsing in on itself. And I really don't know. How did we last during World War Two? Like, we were neutral in World War Two, And they called it the emergency in this country because nobody knew what was going to happen. And the government put... I don't... 56 billion or something towards defence and it was ridiculous they hadn't forts built everywhere that bridge is ready to blow up and everything just in case anything did happen they had naval guns put on the in the ports that put that they had ships patrolling the harbours that men patrolling the back streets of every county and all that looking for spies and all that and they had loads of people looking for like using Oh, well, it's a, you, you know, uh, like MI6 and MI5, but I don't know how back then we were able to spend 56 billion on the feds and all that, but I know this is off topic, but how could we do that? And this is back in 1940, in the 1940s. Like, how did we do that? Ireland was poor back then. Ireland was very poor. And nowadays, we are a third world country and we can't even feed our people. We can't even put our people into our shelter. We can't even give our people a room to sleep in. And that says something. That does say something about this country. And that doesn't say a good thing about it. But anyway, do you know what I'd say to the assignment community and all of the communities that help? 
you send down to this country. And I have to say to people, if you're going to call it the crisis, then you're off your walker. Because it's just an emergency. It's simple as that. It's an emergency. It's like the emergency in Ireland during World War Two, as I said. Nobody knows how bad it's going to get. So we need to just declare an emergency. That's what I'm trying to say. Like we had to declare an emergency, put more... We had to... The teacher has to use the Emergency Powers Act. Like that's the thing... When the, the teacher can use if there's a crisis in the state or in the crisis of the government and give himself a tiny bit more power over local towers and over housing and all that he should do that but anyway yeah so i don't really know what to say and i'm not really in the mood to sign off to be honest because it's just depressing it's just getting even more depressing than depressing by the day uh, every time i read something about this and nearly my heart just sinks because it's so so bad like the state should try and do their best, but they're not doing anything. Anyway, I'm not going to say any more because I'm fed up.